Hey, I just wanted to talk to you today about the new color grading feature in Lightroom Classic. We're going to get into that in just a second. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Josiah Blizzard and on this channel we talk about wedding photography, photography tips, and I take you behind the scenes on some weddings and engagements that I'm shooting. And today I am specifically going to talk to you guys about the new color grading tab in Lightroom Classic, Lightroom uh, or Adobe really across the board released a huge, huge update that came not just to to Lightroom, but to Photoshop and, and all of the other platforms every year they do this, right? And uh, today I'm gonna talk to you about the color grading tab because I know some of you out there uh, maybe just got the hang of split toning and this is maybe a little bit scary, the, the term color grading, it, it sounds a little bit more intimidating. So uh, I just wanna break down that this is actually almost the same thing as split toning, except there's a few features added that will allow you to have more control over your colors, create deeper, richer colors and contrast within your images. And so we're gonna dive into the computer here and I'm gonna show you what each slider does, what each, everything, what all of it does, okay? Cause there's a lot in here. I don't want you to be overwhelmed when you look at this for the first time. So let's jump into the computer here. Okay, so I've loaded up a few images from a recent wedding and I just want to show you what these sliders do. There's a few different things and if you haven't updated Lightroom yet, go ahead and do that and uh, you'll see these tabs in here uh, appear. So we're just going to start with with this image here of, of our bride, uh, Annie. And this was my original edit. I've already f finished this wedding, um, but I'm going to go back now and kind of take a look and see what I can do with these these uh, these colors for color grading. So this was my original, uh, this is my original edit. Uh, you can see over here on the on the sides um, that some of the color grading is applied, and I can toggle this on and off, and you can see that. We're gonna start with no color grading added, and I'm just gonna take you through what each of these sliders do. So, on the right hand side, under color grading, you have a whole bunch of color wheels at the top. You can choose what you want to do, but what what this does is essentially. Uh, you have all three midtones, shadows, and highlights that you can work from, or you can dive right into the, just the shadows, just the midtones, just the highlights, or you can go into the global. And to explain what each of these things do, the shadows will affect just the shadow portion of your image. So when you move this around, you can see it's it's only affecting the shadows of the of the image here. Same thing with the midtones. The mid, this will only affect the color in the midtones, and likewise with the highlights, this will only affect the color in the highlights. What the global does is the global is affecting the entire image as a whole. So think of this as if you put like a colored filter over your lens. Uh, that's kind of what I would equate this to because if you put like a pink filter over your lens, you're going to come out with a pink image. So that's what that does. What they also have is a luminance slider. And this luminance slider is, I can't necessarily say if this is similar to like a shadows or highlights slider or midtone slider, but essentially it is affecting the brightness of that part of the image. This is really cool because we don't really have just a mid, we didn't have a midtone slider necessarily up until now. And now we, now we have a luminance slider for just the midtones, which is really cool. Before you'd have to go into the HSL and if you wanted to affect just like the skin tones, you'd have to move the orange, uh, the orange slider up and down since that's where the skin tones fall. Now you can kind of adjust that with the orange in the HSL, or you can change that with the luminance slider under color grading under the midtones. So you, this is really just providing more options for you to be able to control your image better, which is really cool. So how is this similar to split toning? Well, if you wanted to keep with your, your same settings, you can, you can just apply the presets you had before and it will essentially only apply the shadows and the highlights, right? The, the split toning only controlled highlights and shadows and then there was a balance slider in between. You can do the same exact thing with color grading. If you don't want to touch the midtones, you don't have to. But I do find that having the option for midtones will add more color contrast to your image, creating and uh, resulting in a better image overall. So. Let me just, I'm going to edit this image real quick in the color grading tab. And I prefer, you know, you can do this with all three up here. I prefer to dive into each of them individually and just control my, you know, that, that one singular part one at a time. So I want to add some shot, uh, some blue shadows, some blue to the shadows here, maybe some bluish green. And so I'm going to bring my 
color picker to about there. And what the color pickers do, these color wheels, the further out you go, the more saturated that color gets. The further to the center, the less saturated. So that's what you're doing. If you wanted to dial these numbers in uh, on their own, because you're finding that maybe it's locking or something like that, right? It's snapping to the point. You can just come down here and dial the number in. So maybe 220 and you want this to be saturated up to 25. You could totally do that if you know you have numbers that you, that you like to hit every time. I'm just gonna kind of feel for it here. And so I want kind of a bluish green. So let's do that. I'm gonna adjust the luminance a little bit because I want it a little bit darker in the shadows. Now let's go on to midtones. Midtones, I want to warm it up just a little bit. I'm only saturating it by seven or eight. There we go. That seems fine. And I'm going to tone the midtones down a little bit as well. We'll move into highlights. I'm going to go up to the greens here just a little bit. Actually, we'll play around with this a little bit more. Maybe we'll go into like the yellows again and we'll bring the luminance down. So I've done those three things and you can actually toggle on and off with this little eye down here in the bottom right hand corner. You can toggle that on and off to see what it was beforehand and what your image looks like now. Same goes for all of the sliders here or you can head out to the three slider option and uh, kind of toggle those on and off right there. So I mean, just those shadows make a huge difference and the midtones, it's a subtle difference as well, but it just warms up her skin a little bit. Uh, and then the global here, if I added some global uh, color, it will affect the entire image as a whole. I probably will not be using the global all that much because I would rather dial each individual shadow midtone highlight in on their own. But if you wanted to darken the whole image, you could use the luminous slider here, or you could brighten the whole image up, or you can use another slider in the tone curves or the basics tab, whatever you want to do. So that's essentially, that's essentially these three sliders. Now you're also seeing blending in balance. And, and this was something that was on the split toning. Well, maybe not so much the blending, but the balance was, um, the blending in split toning was always up to hundred percent always. And I say that because I've applied my same presets to these images now with the color grading tab, and they were always all 100% up to 100. So blending, you're just going to kind of tweak and, and play by ear here. But uh, essentially what this is doing is it's shifting. Uh, it, it's just shifting the the way the all the colors are blending together in your image. Um, so if you want less blending down to zero, if you want more blending all the way up to 100. Most of the time, I'm going to leave this around middle ground at 50, um, but I might play with it here and there if I want it to be, you know, a little bit less of a look, more subtle of a look. Uh, if you went a little bit overboard with your color picking, you can always tone it down a little bit. Uh, balance is going to be, do you want this to be heavier in the shadows or do you want it to be warmer in the highlights or do you want it to be somewhere in the middle? I would make sure that when you are selecting your colors, in the shadows, midtones, and highlights that you have both blending and balance set to 50 and to zero. That way it's a middle ground and you can kind of tweak after you select your colors. So that is really the color grading tool here in, in, uh, in Lightroom Classic, this update. And you can see the difference as I go back and forth between these images. This was my edit beforehand. This was my edit after color grading. I've done a few other images here as well. This image was before the color grading tab came in. And this is the image afterwards. You can see that there's a distinct difference in the color contrast and the colors are a lot richer. Same with this, this was before, this was after. If you look at the stones uh, on the rock she's standing on, I'm able to affect the midtones there and it creates such a, a better looking image because I'm able to control more of the image. Same goes for this image here. This was before, this is after before, after. I love the color green I'm able to get in the in the walls there. Same with this image here. Last one. This was before. This was after. I'm able to affect the shadows and the highlights without affecting his midtones too drastically. With the split toning, you were only able to affect the highlights and the shadows. And you, if you were trying to kind of affect the midtones and, and change some color in the midtones, you had to kind of blend them and work them together 
to affect those midtones, and it was really, really difficult. So I'm gonna edit one more image here, but if you like this video so far, please hit that like button and subscribe button. And if you wanna watch me edit this image here with the new color grading tool, stick around. But if you have to leave, no worries, I appreciate you. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about the color grading feature in Lightroom, leave it in the comments below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's go into this image here and uh, we'll keep editing. So this was my original edit. I'm just gonna duplicate this image. That way I can start fresh. And I'm gonna go into my shadows and uh, kind of reset everything. And if you just double click on these, on these uh, sliders or the color wheel, it'll reset itself. So there we go. All right, so I'm going to kind of adjust this here. And the cool thing is too, if you, if you find the you know, saturation you like, you can just come out here and, and kind of drag this color around until you find the, the hue that you want. So let me, I like, I really like blues and greens in my shadows. So let's go there and I'm going to darken them a little bit in the luminance. We'll move on to midtones. I'm going to warm this guy way up in the midtone since it was really, really sunny and, and uh, the sunset was really glowing orange when we were there. I love that. So we're just going to, I'm actually going to increase the midtones a little bit and we'll move into highlights. And I don't want to overdo it in the highlights because of their white. You know, the white they're wearing in the shirts and in the dress. So I actually may move this into the green portion a little bit just to add another little bit of green there. Um, I like that, that tint. And we're going to increase the luminance in the highlights again. And you can see if I go out through the adjust tab here, what this is doing, I'll turn off my midtones, midtones on and off. Look at that's such a drastic, drastic change that we could not get before. You would have had to work really hard to get this maybe in the tonal curve or something along those lines. The shadows on and off. Just a little bit of blue in the shadows adds a really great color contrast between the orange in the midtones and the shadows, uh, the blue shadows. And then we have some green in the highlights on and off. Now I'm going to blend these together and see kind of what this does. So I may, I may increase the blending a bit and I'm going to adjust the balance now. I'm going to bring the balance down to negative 25 and I may just adjust the blending back down towards 50. And so that's, that's essentially my image. Here's color grading on and off. Look at the drastic change that this makes. And going back to my previous image before color grading was on, sorry, there we go. This is before color grading. This was after color grading. So you're just able to get such a richer contrast with colors. And I am very, very excited to, to continue using this feature. Now, what does it look like if I add some global to this image, uh, just like a global tint or something like that? You know, this is not going to change the way the midtones are affected at all um, or the or the other sliders you use. I can still turn the midtones on and off and it it is still affecting the image here um, and I to turn the global on and off again, use that little eyedropper there or the little eye hider thing. And uh, that's essentially what it does. So I actually like the global in this aspect. I might brighten it up just a little bit, but that's the image. So I'm very excited to continue using this. Uh, I hope you feel less overwhelmed about the, the color grading tab now in Lightroom. And I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, again, leave it in the comments below. Would love to answer those questions for you. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, maybe hit that like button. It does make a difference. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.